Let's do the next fight. Place two units. You get on the boat. You get on the boat. There we go. Begin. Set sail, my warriors, to the next adventure. Sound of scraping metal emerging from the darkness as lost Norse warriors crawl out from their hideouts. Alrighty. Oh, this game is beautiful, though. Retrieve the skull of hell from the ancient Norse and escape to the Viking ship. The madness from the lost Norse spreads across the water. Smash their boats and stop it. Collect some examples of the yellow toad and find the hidden alchemist lab to extract its poison. Alright. Oh, and we start at the top this time. Alright. Higher ground gets defensive advantage. Okay, that that's nice because we start... Oh, we're actually where we were before. That's cool. Yes, I knew that was my mission. So, shield dude goes up front, obviously. What's this say? Flanking. Marines attacking from the three rear tiles will get an offensive advantage. Okay, so there is facing. That's interesting. Well, tactics should remain roughly the same. Come to me. Oh, they're grouping. That's kind of annoying. How about a shield bash to begin? Oh, that's a bit of a waste because I critted him and he's dead. Mm, that might be a bit of a waste as well. So, can I do anything? Oh, I can't attack that. Yeah, that doesn't really work. Yeah, so this does work. Alright, fair enough. I gotta remember that I can't stab through my allies. <laughs> Kinda makes sense. This is going slightly less uh, efficiently than the first time. Ooh, that looks like a better cap-ish. So there's only one dude here. And this is also the way we go inside. Is there anything down here that we want? Yeah, let's come from the higher ground, I suppose. Oh, attacking, uh, attacking shrubbery actually reduces cooldown. That's kind of cool. Come to me. Come to me. Now, there is such a thing as slowing time, so if you're uh, interested in making it a bit more like <coughs> uh, turn-based than you can. Okay, that works. A shrubbery! Yes. Yes, I know, I know. We are working on it. Right now, I'm on my way to... The treasure! I got a stick! Fear me. I have a stick. So does this reset cooldowns? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Right. I guess we go down a level. Ooh. Uh, that's not really worth it right now. Come to me. Come. Come. You can do it. Okay, yeah, so definitely supernatural stuffs because that wasn't ended, I think. This looks like a nice spot, higher groundish. And so facing is a thing. So now I can backstab him. Even though I had immobilized him, so technically it wasn't really necessary. More points for thingies. Relics. <coughs> okay. So these are safe points. Why is my health not full then? because this is not the relic, this is the thing that tells me there's a relic. Yes, thank you. Mm. 
Okay, I've got the poison frog. So now this guy's at full health. Does this one also get full health? No. Well, that's fair enough. Good thing I put my my uh, sword and board guy there first. All right, out, out of the cave and straight into combat. That's a waste because he's already dead. All right, collecting points for things. What's this? Special tiles. Tiles near the boats are spawn points. Okay. Right, that makes sense. Let's collect a frog then. You can slow down, slow time. That's kind of cool. Come closer. Not you. All right, we'll go fight you first. That's cool. Does get this guy attack at reach? No, he doesn't. Oh, that's a crit. That's cool. Poke him until he dies. Poke him, poke him some more. Let's bomb. Oh, there's poison. Poison sounds bad. Let's get out of the poison. And maybe use this thing to heal that guy. That sounds like an excellent idea. The boats. Smash their boats. Okay, so if I kill the boat, then I guess I remove the uh, the spawn point, right? That makes sense. So let's make that into a bit more of a priority then, because I can't keep healing. Oh, I guess I can keep healing because it just costs these. Oh, that's the th this was the boss I needed to kill, so that's one of the missions. Good progress. Yeah, so this is this is like a spell. So I have a healing spell and I have a sword and board guy. That goes very, very well together. Actually, speaking of which, let's heal that guy again. And shield bash some more. Because that's stunning. And backstab. For bonus damage. Alright, that's the thing. Okay. Yeah, I like this. This, this has a nice feel to it. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna get super stressed out when I have like five warriors to, uh, to play around with. Wait, how do I smash the boat? That's how I smash the boat, of course. Uh, whoops, I'm in the way. Let's get higher ground again, because that's the thing. Oh, they go down pretty easily. That's nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly defensive simply because I like making them spend their movement to get next to me. Hey, didn't I just do that? Oh, whatever. Right, so one boat down. I guess this is the extraction point. So let's go and take down the other boat, shall we? Sounds like an excellent idea. Oh no, lower ground. It's awful. How about you stay over there and I'll poke, poke you from uh, where I am right now. That sounds like an idea. Yeah, <clears throat> starting with the spear definitely makes uh, defensive play uh, a sensible idea, I think. Let's collect all the frogs. Now, it seems like at this moment, now, of course, we're still in kind of a learning phase, but at this moment, it seems like um, it's still fairly easy to get enough points to heal, but I guess as the uh, difficulty goes up, that's going to change. Money! Break the undead boats. Break all the undead boats. Why is my spearman at the back? That's not it. Is at the front? That's not a good idea. Oh, we can't pass each other, so we'll have to sort of this then. While we're at it, I guess I can also go and collect that thingy. All right. Uh, how are we doing mission-wise? There's still two boats left apparently, and we still need two of the toads. All right. How 
about you go here, and then we can go this way. Run! Run, you fools! Aha, you can't reach me. There's a toad in the way. Haha. -ha. You do not know how to pick up a toad, do you? <gasps> oh no, my plan is foiled. So I guess it does kind of uh, uh, award you, reward you for, uh, for economy, because I think you get points for how many spell, uh, how much mana basically you have left at the end of the game. Okay, we have 10 toads. Oh, we do not want to be here because this is higher ground. That seems like a bad idea. How about we... Oh, never mind. Let's just kill him. Yes, like that. So then the next question is, do you get more points for more toads? Always aim for more. Does it go to 11 out of 10? No, it doesn't. Then let's assume we don't need more of those. Not you. You. There. Ish. There! Yes! Kill the boats. Kill it with fire. Or swords. Axes, actually. Whee! Oh, we also get spell points for boats. So one more boat, and then we can go on our own boat. Back to the homeland. Run! Yeah, it would be good if there were a system where uh, if you're... Uh, if you're very far from the uh, opponent, you no longer <laughs> have the cooldown or something. Yes, done. Nice. Ah, it does look absolutely glorious, though. Yeah, I do very, very much like the look of this game. All right, uh, but that's not what we're doing. What we're doing is breaking boats. Oh, and apparently we can go into the... Oh, there's a frog on the boat tile. Apparently we can go into the waterfall here. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. That must be where the alchemist lab is. Oh, and there's the alchemist. Let's heal because... Look scary. Hey, I did just heal, right? Yeah. And shield bash as well. There we go. That looks like poison. There. Haha, I can jump over the poison. Make sure you have enough toads. Always make sure you have enough toads. Whee! So now we got the poison, so that's all the missions. Let's get back home. Whoops. There. Yeah. Where's my boat? Um, I suspect that there is permadeath. But I don't know. It just feels like that kind of game. So, this is our boat, right? This is how we get home? Yes! The curse seems to lift from the swamp with a sense of being a pawn in a game between gods. You realize that you need to reclaim the control of your fate. Alright, we did stuff. We killed stuff. We got stuff. Oh, there's apparently also a time factor, actually. So getting it faster means uh, getting more points. Not that I know what points do. I guess it could be XP. Oh, I got a new dude. Yeah, I got a new dude. Or... The option to get one. And a new card. Nice. Okay. Challenge factor is still on the low side, but then again, that's usually a good thing at the start of a game. So, shinies. Hello, new dude. He can do taunt which forces him to be attacked. Shield wall, which gives him defense and shield push. Right, so very tanky, dude. That's cool. Uh, do I want to hire you? Yes, I can. And the fact that this only costs 25. Um, let's name him Liger. 
The fact that he only costs 25 to buy, when a single spear already costs 100, suggests that there is definitely permadeath. Yes! So he's in there. Customization. Ooh, we get stuffs. 10% chance to summon undead when you are hit. Alright, let's give that to the guy who gets hit a lot, which is the tanky dude, right? That's new one, Liger. It also looks awesome on him. A worn basic club. Mm, which actually does... Can I get stats on these things? Looks like it's better, I guess, but I, can't, I don't know what the things mean. So this is attack, and this is defense. So the club has better defense than the axe. Better attack than the axe. And better damage. Okay, so let's give it to the guy who does actually, apparently do more damage, because this guy has less tanky abilities, I guess, ish. Sure. You get this one. And this cap is the exact same. I have no idea, Kumo. Alright, tokens. We get a new one for this one. So I, I, I don't know what these icons mean either. No, don't destroy the tokens. Oh, maybe it's just how many of them you have. That could be. Let's test that hypothesis, shall we? Suppose I give you armor. I now have one armor left, yes. And suppose I... Suppose I give you damage. The damage is gone, yes. So this is just how many of them you have. All right. All right, thanks, puppy. Uh, does this one also take one? Unique token can only equip unique tokens. Fair enough. So this is the tanky dude. Defense or armor? Armor all the way, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, because we want. That's not. Wait, that's not the tanky dude. Shit, this was the tanky dude. He was the one supposed to get all the armor. <clears throat> because he needs to get hit. Because then he can spawn undead. Ability. Well, this one's locked. Oh, I can now equip a better and different ability. Do I like immobilize? Hmm. I do like Shield Bash, actually. I don't know how much 7 attack and 10 defense is. What's their normal attack? 37. Yeah. Intuitively, I'd say the, the later ones should be better. But from what I'm seeing now, I don't quite see it yet. Wait, reduced attack cooldown also just means he attack his auto attack is twice as fast. Yeah, that's way better. Definitely that one. And this one doesn't have a choice yet. So stunning stunning seems really good though. Then again, 20 seconds helps for more than one combat more than one opponent. Yeah, sure. Let's try the new abilities, because they're new. Um Curse of Old Age. Can I stun target enemy for eight seconds? Okay, so I can also do a stun from here. And we still don't have guard. Yeah, we only get to see this when we have more. Okay. I guess we go, right? Let's do another mission. <coughs> Shouldn't I get... Oh, 
Oh, this is the same island, right. So this is a level 3 mission, but it's the same one but harder. But this is a different island, which is also level 3. Let's do the new one. Alright YouTube, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.